Last season, the Dallas Mavericks touted the most efficient offense in NBA history. While part of that may be a byproduct of this current era, the fact remains that Luka Doncic and company could score against the best of them. What they lacked and what limited how far they could ultimately go, however, was the defensive end of the equation. The Mavs might score 120 or more on a given night, but they were likely to give up somewhere around 115 points in the process. This meant whenever Luka Doncic or Kristaps Porzingis weren't in optimal health, or even if they happened to be sharing a poor shooting night, Dallas was unlikely to walk away with a W. Enter Josh Richardson, a 6 foot 5 inch small forward and shooting guard out of Edmond, Oklahoma, who Dallas acquired in a trade from Philadelphia on draft night. The price for acquiring the 27 year old defensive standout was the league's second most efficient three point shooter in history, Seth Curry. This meant Richardson would not only be tasked with bringing a newfound defensive edge to the Mavericks, but would also need to knock down open threes whenever found by Doncic. Which, to be fair, would be pretty often. Quote, I kind of had an idea that something was going to happen, but you know, it was just a few teams and I wasn't really sure. Richardson said of being traded during his introductory press conference, but I'm really glad I ended up here. While it's hardly surprising that a newly acquired player would say he's excited to be with his new team, Richardson is, in all likelihood, being genuine due to his previous experience with a then 16-year-old Doncic. After facing off a handful of times while training in Santa Barbara, California, Richardson returned to Miami raving about the Slovenian prodigy. Quote, I came back to Miami and told some of my best friends. I was like, yo, I just met this kid. He's going to be the first pick in the draft, said Richardson. I still think he should have been, but he's lived up to my expectations so far and more. In his lone season with Philadelphia, Richardson struggled somewhat to find his groove, averaging 13.7 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 2.9 assists per game, while shooting 34% from beyond the arc. While these are nice numbers, they don't necessarily jump out on their own. In Richardson's best season, his final year with the Miami Heat, he averaged 16.6 points and 4 assists on roughly 36% shooting from 3. Better, but still not game-changing on paper. Until, that is, you examine Richardson's marksmanship on wide-open shots last year. A wide-open shot is an attempt in which there is no defender within 6 feet of the shooter. On such looks with the 76ers, Richardson knocked down a staggering 47% of his threes last year. Considering Doncic's vision and passing has led the Mavs to generate the most such looks in the league the past two years, this is a great indicator of Richardson's potential impact offensively. Richardson's fit in Philadelphia, by his own admission, was never ideal, but he was thought highly enough of around the league that he served as a respectable return for the 76ers in exchange for Jimmy Butler the previous offseason. He's a versatile defender who can guard multiple positions and who instantly serves as a fully realized version of Dorian Finney-Smith. Quote, I think I can kind of take some of the defensive pressure off of Doncic, Richardson said. The other team's best guard I'll usually be picking up so he can just get in where he fits in on defense and handle what he has to on offense. Richardson's path to Dallas has been a unique one. Coming from Santa Fe High School in Edmond, Oklahoma, where he was named to the Oklahoma Coaches Association's Large West All-State team as a senior. From there, Richardson ventured to the University of Tennessee, playing all four seasons with the Volunteers and appearing in 136 career games. In the process, he averaged modest numbers with 9.2 points, roughly 3 rebounds, and 2 assists per night in 28 minutes of action. His shooting splits weren't exactly eye-popping either, with 45.6% from the field, 31.8% from three, and 75.8% at the line. What he did, however, have going for him was that he was named to the first team All-SEC, SEC All-Defensive Team, and Defensive All-American Team as a senior. This allowed him to be drafted by the Heat with the 40th overall pick in the 2015 NBA Draft. Learning behind Dwayne Wade, Richardson would see his minutes and role fluctuate early on before he eventually carved out a nice niche for himself and even earned the Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month award for March, becoming just the third Heat player to win the award alongside Karan Butler, who won it four times, and Michael Beasley. In September of 2017, Richardson signed a four-year, $42 million contract extension with Miami. From that point onward, he would begin to thrive in his role. 
In the weeks following the deal, Richardson set new career highs in scoring on three separate occasions, and in the following season dropped 37 points on the Golden State Warriors behind eight three-pointers in a 120-118 loss. Quote, He's a high-level defensive player, which is something that we needed, Mavs coach Rick Carlisle said of Richardson. We've been looking for a guy who can guard point guards and add some scoring off the ball. He's a guy who, from afar, I've always thought would be a great fit with Luka Doncic. That belief is ringing true early on for Carlisle as Richardson, through two preseason games against the Milwaukee Bucks, has scored 32 total points in 45 minutes of action alongside Doncic. Best of all, he's done it on 10 of 16 shooting, including 8 of 10 from deep. While it's unrealistic to expect such obscene numbers to continue, it's entirely within reason to expect a career year from Richardson, who may just end up being the most important Maverick not named Luka or Kristaps this season.